Hi Capricorns, this is the Empress, welcome. All right, so we're gonna jump into February 2019 readings, okay? So we're gonna take a look into love. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the bell to get subscribed so you won't miss out on any new readings. All right, and if this message happens to resonate with you guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to let me know what's going on in the comment section, okay? All right, gosh, man. These cards have been coming out back to back. All right, I just did a few other readings in same cards, okay? All right, so let's take a look. Let's see. Just give me one more card for Capricorns. What messages do you have for Capricorns? Here we go. All right. All right, let's see. Please give me clarifiers for Capricorns. All right, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus Capricorns. Um, these are general reads, so they will not resonate with every single Capricorn, okay? Um, and if it doesn't resonate, guys, you can check out your Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus signs, okay? And check those videos out, all right? So these um, energies can be vice versa as well. They can go vice versa. All right, so please give me... Clarifiers for Capricorn, please. Please give me clarifiers for Capricorn. All right. All right, guys. So past energy, guys, we have deception. For present energy, we have trust. For future energy, we have new love. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, guys, you guys are possibly planning on communicating with someone. There's something that you want to communicate with someone. Um, you want to speak your mind. You possibly want to reach out to this person. You possibly are planning on reaching out to this per person in their future. Um, but I do see sense that there's going to be an open communication coming into the near future. Oh, you guys are guarding your heart. Okay, you guys are guarding your heart, okay? There's something that happened here in the past that was a really shocking to you. Something that happened that, that was out of the blue, something that you didn't expect. Um, and you guys are definitely protecting your heart. You aren't, you aren't trying to be deceived at all, okay? You guys aren't going for it. Present energy, we have trust. There's someone here or something that you don't trust. You guys are possibly having trust issues. Um, I feel as if we got this Queen of Wands energy. She's coming up a lot. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, maybe they're offering you something and you don't trust it. There's, there, It comes with worry. It comes with problems. So you're not trusting it. Okay? For future energy, guys, we have new love. Okay? Some of you guys are getting a lot of attention, um, possibly even through social media sites or on, on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is. That, but some of you guys are getting new, getting um, attention and possibly have new love ventures coming in, people throwing themselves at you, um, having a lot of options. But some of you guys are afraid to offer, are afraid to um, put your heart on the line. Um, some of you guys are deciding that you're going to be cold with this king of swords, okay? Some of you guys, you guys aren't having it right now. You guys aren't having it. You aren't having, you have to make sure that this is worth it before you take the leap of faith. Someone is offering their love to you and you guys are like, uh, if it's not worth it, I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Capricorn, y'all aren't playing. Y'all not playing. <laughs> all right. So let's see what additional messages do we have for Capricorns. All right. What additional messages are there for Capricorn? This is for February, 2019. February, 2019. What additional messages do you have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Capricorns, please give me additional messages for Capricorn. Thank you. All right. Let's get it popping, Capis. Let's see. You guys ain't playing. Let's see what's going on. All right. Five of Cups. This is like a repeat from my last reading that I just did, okay? Five of Cups. There's regrets here. There's regrets, okay? Some of you guys are trying to find some balance here, um, but I, I'm just still sensing that there could possibly be some regrets here, Okay. Hmm. Maybe some of you, you guys are wanting to talk to a counselor or like some type of therapist or there's someone older that you possibly are going to be communicating with in regards to your relationship. Um, it's like you want to talk about relationships. 
maybe there's a second chance coming around um, about a relationship here with this judgment card that is granting a second chance and that is reviewing it. Maybe you want to talk to somebody older about relationships. Maybe they're, you're looking for their advice. Okay, so I'm sensing that past energy, guys, you guys were making plans and you were trying to resist conflict. You were trying to keep the peace here and or you were trying to balance out some issues. Some of you guys are, I'm sensing like counseling or talking to someone older and getting advice. That's that's definitely what I'm getting. I feel like some of you guys um, want happiness. You guys definitely want, your, your wish fulfillment is to be in something long-term, happy, um, stable here with this King of Pentacles and this Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. You want, you want stability. You want love. You do want to be in a relationship, but not if it's not worth it. Um, so I'm sensing that something from the past has definitely scorned you, um, has left you feeling some type of way and make you feel it as if you have to guard your heart. But going into the near future, guys, you guys are possibly going to be opening up communication. Um, but for some reason, I'm still feeling like you guys are still guarded. Some of you guys are still, y'all aren't playing with, with the seven of wands. Y'all not playing. And it's something in regards to the past here. We got the six of cups. Some of you guys are possibly, you know, are tired of or wanting to take a break um, from communication going into the near future. Let me pull another card I want to see. Oh, gosh, you guys got some options. You guys got some options and you're doing this to guard yourself. You're doing this to guard yourself. This is future energy. And you're tired of talking about the past. There's something that you're trying to get over here. It's a hump or something that you're trying to get over. Um, but I do feel like here with the seven of cups and the seven of swords, you guys got some options. Or there's a decision that you need to make. So I feel, I feel like as a tactic, you guys are very guarded. That's just what I'm getting. Like you guys are guarded. There could be, um, some of you guys could have been dealing with a Pisces. I'm getting Pisces energy really, really hard here with this high priestess and this queen of cups. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting Sagittarius. I'm getting Leo. I'm getting um, Taurus energy here as well. Why is the high, why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so this is like an opportunity or a chance to talk to someone or communicate with someone with this Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Let's see. Yeah, Ace of Wands, a new start, communicating, um, or this is definitely things picking up the pace and for a new start to begin. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the uh, cancer, okay? But you're worried about what's, coming into the near future, like you're worried about how you're going to progress. So I'm sensing that some of you guys had the opportunity to talk to someone that possibly is a little older who could give you some type of advice in regards to relationships. Okay. Cause maybe you guys are wanting to review something. So are wanting to review over something, see possibly what actually went wrong, or there's some type of therapy that possibly that you want to do or some type of healing that you feel that you need to do. I'm sensing that because we have the temperance card here in your past energy. Okay. Someone here was just too independent. OK, past energy, someone is very independent. Someone was like, you know, I got this. I could do this on my own. OK, but you're definitely looking for um, you definitely want a relationship. You this is something that you really do want. I feel like you're hiding it, but that's because you've got your heart broken or there was some type of heartbreak or sorrow or loss. OK, and it's something that you're possibly trying to get over. Um, I feel like some of you guys are feeling like, you know, I'm tired of talking about the past going into the near future. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep my options open. I feel like some of you guys are keeping your options open and you're doing that because you are trying to guard yourself. You're guarding your, you're protecting yourself. Okay. You're standing your ground. You're like, you know what? Nobody's going to do that to me ever again. All right. So this is the message that I have for you guys for the month of February. You guys are very, very guarded. 
Um, but I, I do sense that you guys are have plenty of options. So it's not like you guys don't have an opportunity for new love. And and we sense that we put that in, in your Oracle card deck that you guys have new love. But I feel like you guys aren't really taking anything serious right now because you are guarded. You are protecting your heart. You're making sure that you don't get played or tried again. OK, that's like a never again. You're not going to do that shit to me ever again. All right, Capricorns, I don't blame you. All right. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. If it resonated, guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. All right. Mwah. Ciao for now, guys.